Hi, I'm Sanket and this is my friend Ria. Hi. We've already taken you along the journey of these nine episodes where we talked about data science, its relevance, debunked myths, learned about the skills and tools a data scientist should have, and then we also dive deeper into the data science terminology. We talked about exploratory data analysis, statistics, unsupervised learning, supervised learning, and big data analytics. We not only got a clearer insight into what these terms are, but also where they stand in the data science life cycle with the help of real life examples. And we are sure that if you have watched the past nine videos, then these words don't sound alien to you anymore. This brings us to the scope that data science holds in the present and future. According to Simon Quinton, if analytics is the engine, then data is the fuel of the 21st century. Without data, businesses would not be able to uncover useful insights that could help streamline their business. The amount of data in the world in 2018 totaled 33 zettabytes, but projections show a rise about 133 zettabytes by 2025. For all of those who are confused, one zettabyte is equal to 10 raised to the power of 21 bytes. Yes, you can now imagine the rate at which we are producing data. With data production on the rise, data scientists will be at the forefront of helping enterprises use it effectively. No wonder why since 2012, the job positions for data scientists have increased by over 650%. And it is being projected that by 2020, data science will take up a 28% share of all digital jobs. Data science has become so ubiquitous that nowadays there is hardly any area of work where data scientists are not required. Yes. They are in high demand. Adding to that, the future will see the emergence of technologies that will enable the creation of drag and drop data science workflows and pipelines. Such technologies exist even today, but have a low adoption owing to the availability of open source tools like Python and R. These tools will have out of the box connectivity with your organization's big data backend, the CRM, and other enterprise software. And you may not even need to write a single line of code to get a highly complex data science model produced. That sounds amazing. The future will also see more openings for the position of citizen data scientist. Citizen data scientists are domain experts and at the same time know how to use data science for their organization's benefit. They bridge the gap between the business end users of data science and the highly technical data scientists. With the emergence of code-free environments, the citizen data scientist will be a common job opening in the future, freeing the data scientist's time for more intricate and technical work.